Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have some exciting new books to unbox and they are from, if you can read my handwriting, The Glosher Bookshop. Uh, so yes, I have some books. I have, uh, oh, I almost wrote my address there. Um, I decided to make an order to the Gutter Bookshop in Dublin. The Gutter Bookshop is an independent bookshop in Dublin. Uh, it's known for its... It's known for supporting a lot of local writers and for having a lot of book events and I've been to a lot of book launches there. Uh, it actually has two shops I think in Dublin but I've only, only been to the one in Cows Lane which is right around the corner from one of my favourite tattoo shops as well. And it is owned by a gay man. Uh, so we're very proud and I'm very rainbow-ish uh, at the minute and some of the books I have in here are two and that's actually one of the reasons that I decided to make this order is because one of the books was someone was promoting it on Twitter and it was about a lesbian queen falling in love with one of her her subjects or her courtiers I'm not sure who it was but it looked very interesting and they said it could be purchased from the gutter bookshop so I thought Bezos don't need any more of my money, so why not make a large purchase from them? You may have seen my... I'm gonna cut that out because let's get cut. As an aside, um, oh god. The Gutter Bookshop, it, it has, I've always liked the, the name of the Gutter Bookshop because they have a lot of um, nice nice art of the quotes around their shop and on their bags and stuff. Uh, it's called the Gutter Bookshop, just to add a little bit more, um, a little bit more gayness into it. Uh, because of Oscar Wilde, uh, it's an Oscar Wilde quote. Okay, it's an Oscar Wilde quote. We are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Very Oscar Wilde there. And just recently, for the recent times, uh, I just found out that the rest of the quote is disobedience in the eyes of anyone who has read history is man's only virtue uh now i just read that's quite relevant to today and also i just read uh there's an easier way to do this of course of course dorian gray by oscar wilde and he the character in that henry seems to say that everything is uh is man's virtue beauty is man's only virtue Cheating on your wife is man's only virtue, you know. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of hypocrisy from him in that book. Ah, I could have just waited until I got the bag out. We are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stall. Um, my housemate actually works in a donut shop, and today I was in there, and they have a big Oscar Wilde quote on the wall too. He's such a versatile guy. It was about pessimism and donuts, weirdly enough. You wouldn't I wouldn't imagine so well eating a donut, you know? Anyway, I have quite a lot of books in here. Well, I have five books, I think. Hopefully, if my order is correct. The first one I'm pulling out is... This has been on my list for quite a while. Uh, it's My Sister, the Serial Killer by Oyinkin Braithwaite. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, love the cover. Again, it's one of those silky kind of matte covers that I like. But I love the, um, the picture as well. Um, I have seen this so many times um, online. I've seen so many. Ooh, lovely green there. Nice picture of the other. Um, I've I've seen this cover so many times. And I've seen lots of people talking about it, and it just looks like the type of thing I might like. So, I believe it is about a woman who has a sister who keeps killing people, and she has to keep cleaning up after her and trying to hide her crimes so I'm excited for this one. Da, da, da. Ah! Filter this by Sophie White. So if you don't already you should be listening to The Creep Dive. Oh I got a bookmark too. Cool. You should be listening to The Creep Dive podcast. I have listened to every single episode and I don't intend on stopping. Uh, it's done by three Dublin women creeping and diving into weird headlines, stories about con men and cults and serial killers if you like any kind of weird stuff any kind of off-color things uh they do a lot of people just pretending to be other people and pretending to be 
strange things. And the three women are very funny. And I got to go to one of their live shows last year as well. It was great. Uh, Sophie White is one of the people in that. She's a journalist, author and podcaster. And this is her first novel. I think the sequel to this has just come out as well. So I'm going to read this. I'm probably just going to go straight on to the second one. I believe from hearing her talking the podcast, this is about a woman who lives a lot of her life online and through random things that go wrong um, she ends up perpetuating a lie that she is pregnant. So that's not going to go well for her I would imagine. So I'm excited to read Sophie White's book. This is quite a large one. With large paperbacks. I'm not sure entirely what this is. I did go through a lot of the books on the Gutter Bookshop website to see what I wanted. This looks a little bit creepy to me, so I want to see what it was. It's Pine by Francine Toon. I'll just read the back of this because I don't actually know what it's about. Uh, Lauren and her father Niall live alone in the highlands in a small village surrounded by pine forest. When a woman stumbles out on the road one Halloween night, Niall drives her back to their house in his pickup. In the morning, she's gone. This is why I bought it. In a community where daughters rebel, men quietly rage, and drinking is a means of forgetting Ireland, mysteries that is like this are not out of the ordinary. The trapper found hanging with the dead animals for two weeks, locked doors and stone circles, the disappearance of Lauren's mother a decade ago. Lauren looks for answers in her tarot cards, hoping she might one day be able to read her father's turbulent mind. Neighbours know more than they let on, but when a local teenager goes missing, it's no longer clear who she can trust. So that one, I like the minimalist cover on this one, so that is going to be interesting. Last but not least, this is actually the reason that I made the entire, the entire order. So I saw this cover on Twitter. It's quite a chunker, to be honest. Um, I saw this on Twitter and the author was promoting it, I think. Queen of Coin and Whispers by Helen Corcoran. So I believe it's an Irish author. Cork author, lovely. Uh, who lives in Dublin now, writing fantasies and haunting coffee shops. Yeah, me too. I drink tea though. Uh, so Irish author, queer characters, fantasy. I, I, I grew up on fantasy and I want to get back to fantasy and this kind of thing with kingdoms and queens and stuff. So I think I'm going to love this. Um, I'll read the back of this too because this is the whole reason I got these. She loved me as I loved her, fierce as a bloody blade. When teenage queen Leah inherits her corrupt uncle's bankrupt kingdom, kingdom she brings a new spy master into the fold, Zanya, who takes the job to avenge her murdered father. Faced with dangerous plots and hidden enemies, can Leah and Zanya Learn to rely on each other as they discover that all is not fair in love and treason. The throne means both power and duty, so they must decide what to sacrifice for their country and for each other. I think I'm going to like this. So, thank you to the Gutter Bookshop. Uh, there's a fork. <laughs> There was another one that I ordered. I don't want to be calling out a uh, gutter bookshop here, but there was another one that I ordered. I did also order The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I have heard is about a bisexual woman, so I knew there was more, there's supposed to be more gay in this. Or more LGBT at least. I'm 99% sure that I paid for it, but I'm bad at these things, so I could be totally wrong with that. But these are my my cool new books from the Gutter Bookshop. I have to do the... Oh, I love the smell of a new book. So that is my purchase, my haul from the Gutter Bookshop. So if if you can, don't give Bezos any more money. I'm trying not to. It's difficult because a lot of authors rely on Amazon reviews. So you can't have to review on Amazon at the minute. But if you can go to the library or if you can buy from independent bookshops or the authors themselves go for that that's what I'm going to try and do more of in the future so thank you for watching um, stay safe out there happy Pride month celebrate 
as you can, as and when you can. And I shall see you in the next video.